shall we? Oh wow, holy, this is so good. The bakery had amazing items. All right, my friends, what is up? Welcome to a new cheat day video on my channel. I'm Alan, 28 years old from Germany, and today it's Bayram. So for today's cheat day, I just want to go crazy. I just want to eat everything that I want. So not only Middle Eastern or Boston dishes. Today, I just want to eat everything that I want. So I was early in the mosque for the praying for Bayram. Then I drove strictly to Dunkin' Donuts, as you can see. I bought myself donuts and also for my family for later on, because later I will go to my family and will eat there a lot of food too. So stay tuned for that. First, I want to eat the donuts in the car, but just because it was a super nice street outside, I decided for the first time to eat on my balcony because I have a beautiful view. Why not eating donuts and on my balcony with some fresh air, right? And I also want to eat some more. Be safe to follow me on Instagram to be the first behind the scenes and also please, it will help me a lot if you're new to subscribe to my channel. It's just a click, so it, I will appreciate it a lot because I spent a lot of money all the time for and the only thing that's become shredded is my wallet, so not myself. So please help me out, it will give me a lot. And also comment down below what was your favorite items from this cheat day. So before we start with the donuts guys, I want to have myself some cereals for breakfast. And here we got the French Toast Crunch with maple syrup flavor. Greetings to you Ron, I become the box all the way from Canada. And I had a few of them and they are super delicious and for sure cereals only with real milk oh yeah so hungry and i cannot wait the first full day of cheating after a month let's let's see oh wow ron i love you again some maple flavored cereals Mm. And the texture. Mm. Wow. Just perfect. Best way to start a cheat day. Cereals, a breakfast sandwich and donuts. I could easily eat the whole box something savory. So here we got the toasted sesame bagel with eggs, the pasturma meat, then we got cream cheese and also the red sauce is Korean golden chunk sauce. And I love the combination of uh, cream cheese with golden chunk and with some eggs and pasturma. So pasturma is thinly sliced beef meat. It's so delicious. You can't go wrong. So. Especially when it's warm. Mama. Mm. And also for the health. We have here right now a smoothie. With guana banana. With guana banana puree. Dragon fruit. And banana passion fruit. I never had this. But why not? Mm. Wow. You definitely can taste dragon fruit and also banana, and I love I love both. Mmm. Oh wow. This is delicious. It works perfectly. Super refreshing. Just to let you know, this video is going to be a bit longer. Dunkin' Donuts, Shazam! We got six delicious donuts and I will come to all of them when I start to eat them. Oh yes, because I don't want to repeat myself all the time. So let's start with the staple of Dunkin's, the Boston cream. Chocolate glaze filled with a delicious vanilla cream or kind of a vanilla cream. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Last time on my birthday, and today again. Texture cream. Oh man.
perfect. Next one. This is to you, Nate, and Homer Simpson. I love it also, the strawberry frosted one. Simple, delicious, and you can't go wrong. Yo. best way to wash the donuts down with some milk. So next one, I think this is a Bavarian cream. So a lot of powdered sugar on top. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Again, so simple. But these are one of our favorites. And it's been a while since I've had Bavarian cream. Mmm. So not heavy or anything. I man, the bees here. Oh my god! Holy, this cream is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. All right, the next one. This is the apple cinnamon flavored filled one. Cheers with the apple cinnamon. Why? Why? I love cinnamon so much. And the combination of apple with cinnamon. Best idea. Just the best idea to start this. Cheat there with some Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. So we have two more. Before we eat them, let's kill first the bagel because I need something savory again. Oh yeah, all the pasterma. I eat this kind of creation almost every single Sunday. Here we got the last donuts, but this is not all. So here we have Matcha Kit Kat. So Nadi, Stephanie, when you watch this video, this donut is definitely the perfect donut for you, I think. Some both that I love so much. Let's try this out, shall we? Wow. Wow. Just look at all the peanut butter cream in the inside with the matcha wafer. Mmm. And the combination. Wow. This is heavy. but in a good way. Wow, the texture with the wafers, the peanut butter. It needs to be a normal staple at Dunkin's. Holy, this is so good. Wow, definitely my favorite one. For sure. For the price, Duncan's every time unbeatable in Germany. Definitely. Six donuts for five euros. Because here we have a delicious Reese's stick, guys, on a blueberry donut. So here we have some peanut butter jelly action. And look at it. I don't know which one I like more. Maybe the Kit Kat one, but this is also amazing. Wow, I love Nutty Buddies or the Reese's Sticks. Such a strong and delicious flavor. Again, the wafer texture with the dough. Definitely delicious. Mmm.
all the jelly with the Reese's stick. That was a perfect start for the cheat day. Um, I think I will eat some more before I go to my parents. We're almost 11.50 right now. I think we will see us there. Maybe an hour or something because I'm still hungry. Stay tuned for the next round. I hope you guys can see it. It's 117 right now. It's time for the next round. So time for round number two. And yes, again something that is not traditional for Bayram. Anyways, I want to eat today just what I want to. And and here we got a tuna pizza stuffed with tortellini on top and ricotta. And they're also filled with ricotta or mozzarella cheese, I think it was. Yes, I know it's crazy, but I saw this on Instagram and I really was looking forward to try this out. And also here we got cannelloni alla bolognese. I never had cannelloni in my life and I think it looks and smells like lasagna so I think it's almost the same. We will see, I never had I never had them and maybe they are not like your traditional Italian ones but ragazzi I want to show you some love as well so greetings to you all in Italy. I love you all especially to you Thomas. I hope you are fine. And four of my favorite milk snacks, but we will come into everything when I start to eat. But let's try strictly the cannelloni because I want to eat them hot and fresh. And oh, the meat, mm. it's beef, just to let you know. It's so delicious. Wow, the sauce, it tastes almost like lasagna, but in a different pasta shape you have this round like ca cannoli round shape but you cannot see it from all the cheese and oh mamma mia oh wow this is so delicious wow ragazzi i'm sorry i know bechamel it's not like authentic italian but you can taste that this is more like an Italian dish, definitely, and it's super delicious. Mmm. Wow. That was really what I need after the donuts. Holy. So easy, creamy, delicious. I love Italian food so much. Milk snacks, the Monte one. Creamy, milky, I love it so much. Mmm. Light. Mm. Oh, it tastes exactly like the pudding. Like a white hazelnut pudding. The next one. I have them so often on my cheat days without filming. The Bounty and Mars milk snack, but I never had them in my videos. I think I love the Mars bar, but the milk snack version is so much better. Oh, yeah, super cold, creamy, mm. and the layer of caramel just perfect. I'm super curious. I love tuna pizza, one of my favorites. Mm. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, wow. Mmm. I hope you Italians will not hate me for that. But try this out. This is so delicious. It's mmm. Oh. Mama.
just flip on. Okay. Next one, the Bounty Milk Snack, my favorite. Roxy, this is for you. I know how much you love coconut. And the creaminess. And oh my god, the cream. So smooth. And cold and oh. That's why I love it so much. Beet milk snacks. Because they're so light and easy. And again to my ragazzi. One of my favorite kinder products. Also a milk snack. The Maxi King. The chocolate shell with all the hazelnuts. The milk and caramel filling. I had this often in my videos and also on my kinder cheat day. Ah. Um, it is just, every time, amazing. Oh yeah, all the caramel. Mm. Nothing about health and fitness. That was amazing. First time. Tuna pizza was the tortellini. So stay tuned for the next round. Love you all. So my friends, welcome to round number three. Yes, still in my apartment. I wasn't at my parents' house. My mom is still cooking for us the dinner for Bayram. So I don't want to be too annoying and decided for a quick meal at my home again because I want to eat a lot today guys. A Chinese scallion pancake and I fried this in the pan. It's delicious, buttery, crispy, had a lot of layers and then the smell of the yeast from the dough was so delicious. The crispiness and the flavor is bomb diggity. So cheers to all my Chinese people. I love scallion pancakes and you sh should have to try this too. Mm. I have to save something. My mom got to try this because it tastes exactly like a Bosnian dish. Mm. Some Korean glass noodle dumplings or mandus, however you want to call it, with some sriracha and Korean hot sauce. Pan fried. Definitely one of the best grocery dumplings ever. They are so delicious. German Bakery Brinka. I don't know, this is filled with something. It's a delicious flaky pastry and it's filled with tomato. It smells like pizza. Mm. You can see the tomato and also cheese. Oh, and this is like oregano with cheese on top. It tastes exactly like a pizza pocket and it's fresh from the kiosk downstairs for my apartment. Mmm. Damn, that video becomes so long just to let you know, guys, like a movie. So, we had American foods, we had Italian foods, we got Asian foods, some more German bakery goodies. And later on, a lot of Bosnian and Middle Eastern dishes. For Bayram, for sure. Warm, fresh, flaky. Wow. And this is something that I add really often up in my videos. It's a German Berliner. A lot of sugar on top. I love the airiness and the fluffiness and it's yeah kind of oily. Let's see. Holy. This is packed. Oh wow. 
Look at that amount of filling guys Oh wow, wow Mmm And the dough is amazing Wow The bakery had amazing items Oh my goodness, a lot of strawberry <laughs> jam in the inside Mmm, mmm, oh baby So much donut dough, man This is amazing I have to get some more items from this bakery definitely for a video A sushi roll and it's filled with beef guys A lot of beef with chili It's not Mm. So for the last guys, we got the Post Timbits chocolate glazed cereals that I become from Ron again. Much love and greetings to you. These are chocolate version. I had the birthday cake version before and, and the birthday cake version was amazing. But let's see. But this chocolate flavor is so good. I will give this easy for just chocolate plain cereals an eight. Wow, texture. Wow, no joke. They are super, super good. But that was not all guys. Merci chocolate filled pralines and they are filled with coconut. And also some Korean rice cakes, strawberry flavor ones. That looks so beautiful. Oh yeah. Just all in one. Yo. Yo. You can strictly taste the strawberry with the coconut together. Mmm. That works. All the coconut chocolate. Mm. All the coconut so so amazing. I love the mercy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is food porn. Oh my god. This is how we do it, right? <sighs> One more thing. Maybe you saw my little American cheat day and here we got a cheesecake parfait with maple salted caramel flavor a lot of maple caramel syrup on top then the cheesecake part and also the graham cracker part and it's super delicious oh my god so mapley this is really like a maple flavored cheesecake you cannot taste really the salted caramel but I have no problems with it because the maple flavor is just too good and look at the graham cracker crust oh yeah mm, so easy to eat oh wow let me know what is your favorite cheesecake my friends mm. oh wow also done. So that was all. That was all. Right now, I want to smoke a hookah and then it's time for the next round at my parents' house. Stay tuned, my friends.
So my friends, I hope you can see the time. Right now it's 5.50 p.m. It's time for the feast. I'm at my parents' house and we have a lot of traditional items right now. Wara Aresh or Sarma. These are stuffed wine leaves with rice in the inside. And we also got some yogurt and I love to dip these stuffed wine leaves in yogurt and eat them just like so. Oh, oh yeah. And it's so delicious, no joke guys. I love home cooking stuff the most. Mm. And this is amazing. We also got another smoothie, just again for the health. Mm. Oh wow. And the orange and the mangoes definitely overpowering so you cannot taste the carrots. And <laughs> that is really good. This is bread. Stuffed with a lot of cheese and herbs and this is so delicious, fatty, oh. feta cheese, different spices, oh. but it's more a thick kind of a soup with chickpeas, a fava beans and kind of a, you can say curry. And Mmm, this is so amazing and especially because everything is warm and fresh. We eat them all with some flatbread all the time and I love me the Lebanese style flatbread the most. Just wrap it up like that. Homemade hummus, some hummus on the flatbread. Um, oh. Oh wow, so I will eat first a bit and then we come to the next dishes. When you start to eat this, you, be you become addicted, no joke. Oh, this is so good. I'm about to say you Also we got some iron, buttermilk just perfect with, uh, when you eat a lot of dough. Okay my friends and here we got the couscous salad and it looks amazing with a lot of different spices, herbs, you can see all the chestnuts as well, paprika and also the delicious chicken in the middle. And it's super delicious, fatty, I love me the skin the most, you know it guys. So let's start the couscous salad first. Oh wow, holy, this is so good, mmm, I have to eat couscous often now, definitely, and with some bread again, like so, oh my god, look at the skin, and I love the skin the most, the most flavor. Mm. You know what? Let's make a wrap out of. The hummus with the chicken. Oh. And just because I made my parents' house. I want to enjoy it a bit without the camera. I hope you can understand it. I will destroy it all. That's for sure. And if you're still watching the video, just let me know what is your favorite so far. All of the couscous. Only one from the pita. Let's destroy this as well. And then, uh, everything is gone. Also, the wine leaves. <laughs> it was also delicious. But well, right now, I'm really full. But we also have some desserts left. So, let's come to this now. 
So my friends, finally it's time for the dessert round. I know you all want to see the sweet stuff more than the savory items. And here we got a lot of delicious Bosnian treats. And here we got some halva, Svekervina Ochi. This is something with a havla, then also figs and uh, walnut. Then we also got something that I never had before. This is something that my grandma made for the first time. And here we got one of my favorites, baklava with grits. This is amazing. This is nothing that you may be new. This is not Middle Eastern. This is really more a Bosnian dish. And it's super good. And, and also some traditional normal baklava with walnuts and hazelnuts. Again, strictly into my favorite ones. The baklava with the grits. Maybe you can see it, it's hard and it's white from all the grits and a lot of layers, sugar on top. And, oh, oh wow. This is super sweet, but so creamy. Exactly how I love this dish. Oh wow. Let's try out the baklava with the walnuts and hazelnuts. For all the nuts with the delicious layers. Mm. Let's come to this bad boy right here. Mm. Okay. This part is amazing. It's again drenched in so much sugar. The sugar and the grits, all the layers, it's also looking more like a baklava type of. Wow. Mm. All right, my friends. Here you can see this is patishpanya. This is also a really old and traditional Bosnian dish. And this is almost only wheat flour, a lot of uh, sugar water. You can see it. This is also so dense in calories. I don't know when I had this the last time, but let's try this out. Wow. This is so sweet. Okay, let's try out the Svekrvinochi, guys. This is Havla with figs and also walnuts in the middle. Let's see. Mmm. And coconut. Oh, yeah. Again. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Wow. Again, this one. The baklava and also the baklava with the grits the most. Mm. So, last bite. We will see us with the last round, my friends. Ah, oh, that was good, but that was so stuffing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it so far. We will see us. So it's 8.48. I hope you can see the time, guys. Time for the last round and I don't want to go too crazy. We still have a lot of, yeah, almost all is again home baked and yeah, fatty, doughy and will sit in my stomach for a long time. But we'll, we'll come to everything when I start to eat them. So the home-baked pastry for my grandma again with the walnuts and the grits and layers of baklava. Mm. Oh. You become addicted. So in here we have half passion fruit and half yogurt cream filled and roped in white chocolate pralines. Haloren Kugel. I had one before and I almost eat the whole day guys also off camera that's why I'm pretty full wow. mm. cold but let's try out something that I show you often on my videos burek so filo dough rolled like a snail and filled with beef mm. my tetka my auntie make this and it's so good ah oh. dalo it's amazing this is so lecker it's so good the baklava again with all the hazelnuts and walnuts 
Oh. So sugary and delicious. I had easy three or four more of them off camera. Also the grit version. Oh my god. But it's just too good. I don't know if you can see it guys. Oh yes, you can, yes you can. All the sugar water. Let's come to Maslantse guys. And Maslan says this is homemade for my mom. It's come in the big pan, in the round shape, in the big pan. And then she cut it like triangles. And here you can see all the layers. You can eat it with savory items. Like with uh, scrambled eggs, cottage cheese, uh, cream cheese. And also with yogurt. And also with sweet items like with uh, jam, Nutella, everything. Mm. And this is one of my all-time favorite breakfast items when she make it but so f so much flavor mmm oh my god I love my sunset so much ah just put your mud like so with the Nutella mmm Oh, it tastes almost like a fattier kind of a crepe, but way better. I had this before on one of my cheat days, but just a plain cheesecake version. Here we got the chocolate one, and it's also super good and so cold. Mm. So we have homemade flatbread from my mom with shredded chicken kebab meat a lot of different peppers yogurt sauce and spicy sauce not too oily or anything just perfect all the spices the sh shawarma meat and with homemade flatbread, you can't go wrong. Ah, the yogurt helps so much. Uh, I have to make a break. But before we end, guys, one of my all time favorite milk snacks, the Milka one. And trust me, the milk filling, the ratio. Oh. Oh. Just pure goodness. Mm. I hope you all enjoyed this cheat day. We had donuts, cereals, burek, maslamse. Solid cheat day for me. And, oh. That was all. Oh, but we see us in the next video. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be delicious, trust me. I have a special and epic plan. Anyways, I wish you all a great day, great night, great morning. I don't know when you see the video, but please subscribe to my channel if you're new because it's all about food on my channel. And yeah, just like I said all the time, nothing about health and fitness. This is just for me and for you guys for entertainment, like always. Uh, I have to work my ass off. Cheers, peace from Germany. I love you all. Eight Mubarak again and goodbye.